And good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the Dow High Gymnasium for another exciting clash between the rivals Midland High Chemex and the Dow High Chargers. I'm Jake Reetma alongside Dave Marsh. And Dave, the script could not be written any better for an exciting night of volleyball. Wow, you got that right, Jake. This is, uh, besides the city championship, this one's for all the marbles. The uh, winner tonight will win the Saginaw Valley League North Championship. Both teams coming in with 6-0 uh, records in league play. And uh, the, uh, you can just sense uh, electric atmosphere as the student sections uh, fill in. And uh, we're, we're looking for a, a great match tonight, no question about it. Oh, absolutely, Dave. And anytime it's a Midland Dow matchup in any sport, whether it be guys, girls, football, basketball, volleyball, tennis, it's always, yeah. a, it's always a treat. And when the stakes are as high as they are tonight, it just adds to the atmosphere, as you mentioned. And the, fan, the final fans are filling in as both student sections are well represented. The Charger student section appears to be sporting mostly white and yellow with some thunder sticks. <laughs> I'm sure those will be yeah. making a lot of ruckus noises here tonight in the gymnasium and the Midland student section also well represented in the Midland high blue. And we are just minutes away from game time here in the Dow High Gymnasium. Again, Jake Reepmo alongside Dave Marsh and we are excited to bring you all the action in this evening's contest between the home team, the Dow High Chargers and the visiting Midland High Chemics. Yeah, Jay, get this as far as coming into this and the evenly match. Dow High comes in with a record of 37, nine and one. Midland High comes in with a record of 36 and 10. So almost dead even on the win-loss records. And of course, the one that uh, matters as much as any, six and zero in league play for both teams is uh, they'll be fighting it out for the SVL championship here tonight. Absolutely. and. Uh as we are moments away from the national anthem here. Real quick, let's talk about some keys to the game. Midland High coach has talked about what his Chemics need to do. Coach Tim Zero talked about two areas of the game that the Chemics need to be efficient in, and that's the serves and the passes. Yeah, well, that's, that's not a big surprise. You know, it's, that's fundamental volleyball, and Midland's always focused on that, and, uh, and certainly, uh, leading into this game, they knew those are areas where you make mistakes and you give up points. So you want to be solid in those two areas. Meanwhile, on the other side, Dow's coach Amy Yule in her first year for the Chargers talked about keeping the momentum. At this time, let's send it courtside for the national anthem.
um, honoring our seniors playing in their final home game, possibly. I believe it's time for some volleyball. Yes. And uh, as we get, uh, get ready here, some of the key players to, to look for for Midland High on the, uh, the offensive end, uh, Taylor Jensen and Mariah Sherman are, uh, are number, Jensen number 13 and Sherman number four are their uh, two main attackers, each with over 340 kills on the season. Uh, also in that starting lineup, Ellie Jensen, number 16. Erica Reeder, she's the setter. Um, so we'll be saying her name a lot at number five. And uh, well, here we go. We're underway. Okay. Stone will serve for the Chargers, and Midland controls it and sends it back into the net. And the first point of the game will go the way of the HH Dow High Chargers. And Stone will continue to serve for Dow. Alyssa Stone, a senior, had a big game in this game last year yeah, as a junior. Yeah, she sure did. That spike attempt is sent well out of bounds, and the Chargers have the first two points of the game. You recall last year, uh, Dow High uh, won fairly handily in route to a code league title. However, Stone sends that one long, and the Midland High student section erupts with the <laughs> popping of plastic bags. I'm sure to signify the first point for the Chemex. A nice game, game day tradition there. And now yep. the student section will rise to their feet. They're ready to go for the Chemex. 2-1 Chargers, Midland with their first serve. Back the other way, it's McCaffrey having her spike attempt blocked and straight down for another Midland high point. Sherman all over that one with the block. And we're tied up at two. And there's a nice serve for a point for the Chemex as Erica Reeder gets it down. 3-2 Midland High. There's Kutch with a hard spike that will go well off into the distance as Midland High knocks it out. And it's a point for the Chargers. A very powerful kill by Madison Kutch. Cooch, rather. Yeah, Cooch also had a huge match last year, as you recall. Midland High sending it over for the point. Tough to see who had the kill that time for Midland High. I think that was uh, Mariah Sherman. She found that opening right in the middle of the Dow High defense, put it away. A well-placed ball, giving Midland High the early 4-3 lead. And there's a nice ace for Midland High. Ellie Jensen with that one. She's just a sophomore, making her presence known here in the early going. 5-3, Midland High as Cooch goes with another strong kill to give the ball back to the Chargers. And Cooch showing early why she's one of the most important players for the Dow High team. Oh yeah, you can. She's a force up at the front of that net, no yeah. doubt about it. It just sounds a little bit different when she hits it. It does, you're right. Looks it, too. Atten serving for the Chargers. Some strong net play that time by Jensen for the Chemex. That was an alert play by Taylor Jensen. You can tell... Uh, Midland's done a good job early on just finding the holes in the Dow defense. And Jensen, a senior, Taylor Jensen that is, showing her experience with the savvy net play. Here's Atten with the big kill for the Chargers. And as we've mentioned a few times already, the size and height at the net has been an area where the Chargers have excelled all year, especially in last year's game. That's a strong play by Atten, Cooch, and Stone were on display, and we're seeing more of it here in the early going. 6-5, Midland High. Stone going for the kill, and she'll get it. Yeah, impressive uh, frontline performance thus far as Dow High knots it up at six. 
In a game of this magnitude, there will undoubtedly be all kinds of momentum swings. It's all about how you respond. And so far in the early going, we've seen both teams go back and forth. Stone hitting it across court, finding the open spot for another kill. And Dow takes the 7-6 lead. That was a nice cross court kill by Alyssa Stone for the Chargers. Cooch will serve for Dow. A low sinking line drive is dug nicely there by the Chemex. Punched over by Midland High. Now Dow with the chance. Here's Stone having her kill attempt deflected. And Midland will come away with the point. Four hits there to the Chargers, so tied up at seven here. Kaylee Warner will come in off the bench to serve for Midland High in a 7-7 first game. Reiner, best three out of five. And there's an ace. Nice job, Kaylee Warner. When you Came can in see to serve and out. she responded. Absolutely, you can see why Coach Zero brought her in. Dow controlling it. It's Stone again with the cross court kill and that could be an area where she might have that shot all night. Chemex have shown no sign of stopping that particular cross court shot. And Stone is off to a hot start early for the Chargers. Kylie's Jude, the setter, serving now for Dow. with the kill for Dow. Helena Atten didn't look to get all of that one, but got just enough and it was placed perfectly for the point for Dow. Nine to eight Dow. It would have been better that she didn't get all that one. Maybe she planned it. <laughs> that one sent out of bounds by Midland High. And Dow takes the 10-8 lead. Jude with a nice serve that gave Michelle Plaver some trouble that time. It looks like she put some spin on the ball. It wasn't quite as hard as most of her serves. Point for Dow. Midland responds though with a strong kill by Jensen down the line. Exactly what the Chemex needed. Yeah, Taylor Jensen uh, seems to be the Chemex answer at the front line for Midland to counter those, uh, the big front for Dow. Jensen with a strong serve that's dug up nicely by Dow. And Jensen sends that one long. A point for the Chargers. Helena Atten to serve for Dow. And just a little bit wide for Midland. And Coach Zarrell is uh, going to call a timeout. Fear of this one uh, getting away from the Chemex. It's been nip and tuck, but Dow with a little run here. And Zarrell wants to uh, stem that tide as he talks to his team. No doubt, we talked about how momentum swings can come and go in a sport like volleyball, especially when you add to the equation the magnitude of a game like this, a rivalry game, a city championship, and the Valley North all on the line tonight here in the Dow High Gymnasium. So probably a great idea by the Chemex to just talk things over before things, you know, Dow goes on one of those mega runs that can be too much to overcome. It's just a 13-9 game. We are in the first game of the match between the Midland High Chemex and the Dow High Chargers. 
Yeah, you can see uh, Coach Ewell for Dow on the other hand had a quick huddle and said, let's get back out there. That's right. We got a good thing going. Uh, don't want to uh, change momentum here. Atten to continue serving for Dow. Touch shot by Stone, dug up nicely by Warner, and Midland High turns it into a big point. Ellie Jensen with the kill for the Chemex. So a great way to respond off the timeout by Midland High. They trail 13-10 with the ball serving. It's Plava for the Chemex. And there's a strong kill from the Chargers by Jenna Query, who sees her first action of the game and wasted no time making a positive impact for Dow. Query left no doubt on that one. Heavy ball, found the spot, put it away, point Chargers. That's kind of the equivalent of an alley-oop in basketball. <laughs> Just how you draw it up, no doubt about it, a slam dunk. 14-10, Dow with the lead. And Midland comes right back and gets the point. Mariah Sherman, you get the kill on that one. She comes into this match, 385 kills to lead the Chemex. Taylor Jensen with 344 right behind her. Cooch with a strong shot that goes just beyond that back baseline. So a point for the Chemex. Just a little bit too much mustard on that shot by Cooch and the Chargers. However, that serve goes long and it'll go right back to Dow with the score 15 to 12. Jensen with the shot from the back line. Nice pickup that time by Midland High. It's, and they turn it into a point with a strong kill by Sherman who went right down the line to cut the Charger lead to two. It's 15 to 13. Dow High libero, Sophia Lobo with a nice dig to keep that alive for Dow, but Kamek's able to put it away. Certainly one of the longer points of the night. And there's a quick shot by Dow. That's a Jude with a tremendous play. Going with the uh, reverse, found, knew that hole was there over the net for the point. What a what a job by Jude. And that's just a savvy play by a senior who has played in many Midland Dow games and knew there was an opening there. However, Dow unable to take advantage as Lobo sends her serve long and a point for the Chemex. Sixteen, fourteen, Dow with it. It's Atten with the kill across court. Dug up, no, not quite. A diving effort from Midland's high, Midland High's Kaylee Souls, but to no avail as the Chargers get the point and lead seventeen to fourteen. Cooch to serve for the Chargers. A low sinking line drive that was just too hot to handle, and the point. Goes to Dow. A lot of heat on that serve by Cooch. I don't think you could get me to stand in front of that fastball, <laughs> Dave. This one's controlled nicely by Midland High, and it's Jensen with a strong kill in response. A good way to respond by Midland High as they bump, set, spike, just like all the volleyball t-shirts say. <laughs> Kaylee Souls, this junior, struggled with the previous serve, but handled that one nicely and uh, set that up for the Kemic point. It's all about how you respond. 18-15, Dow with the lead, Midland High serving. It's Warner to serve for the Chemex. A quick set by Reeder over the net for the kill, and she takes a page out of Jude's yeah. book. For the point for Midland High, smart play on both sides from both Midland and Dow setters. 
And we've got a tight one here in the opening game. It's 18 to 16. Midland High serving, Dow with the lead. And Dow will take the point as Midland sent one into the net and were unable to get their offense set up in that possession. This is kind of that danger point in rally scoring up to 25 where you got to keep your uh, keep a tight distance. No doubt about get that. Get out of the way, out of the out of hand quick. 1916 Dow with the lead. Stone with the kill. It's down and the Chargers have the 20 to 16 lead. Jude to serve for Dow. And that one is out. Jensen tried to go back to the serve down the left hand side that's been successful for her up until this point and it's another point for Dow. It's 21 to 16 and Midland will take the timeout, which gives us a chance to remind you that these games will be available to view on October 29th and 30 on Charter, Charter Channel 189. Take a look at uh, Rich Jude there, the father of uh, setter Kylie Jude. Rich, a uh, Dow High legend, tremendous baseball player, went on to play at Michigan State and uh, also uh, in the professional ranks in baseball, also a great football player here for Dow High. So pretty fired up to see his uh, his daughter doing playing great tonight and the team on top, 21-16. It's gotta be fun to watch your second generation Chargers grow up. Oh yeah. Playing for the team you once played for. Jude to continue serving for the Chargers and we're back in action. Jensen unable to get the touch attempt over the net, and it's another point for Dow. They lead 22 to 16. Rally scoring up to 25. Dow with a stringer hold on this game, just needs three more points. And now two more points, 23-16. Can Jude ride the Chargers all the way to victory in this first game? She's done a tremendous job so far to give them a commanding stranglehold. 23-16. At the net, it's Atten blocked by the Chemex. And now Midland High with it. Jensen has her shot blocked at the front line. It looked like both Atten and McCaffrey, we're both there. I couldn't quite tell who got the block, but regardless, it's a charger point and it's set point, 24-16. And Midland comes away with the much needed point. Now 24-17. It's really tough when you're in rally scoring when the other team has 24 and you got a ways to go. You just you have to be perfect volleyball. No doubt. But the Chemex have who they want, Jensen, and she barely gets a hold of that back line for the point. And the Charger, or the Chemex rather, are still alive by the skin of their teeth. Dow High student section, <laughs> not happy about that one. That one's another ace for the Midland High. Wow, Jensen with back-to-back -back aces. And it's still a five-point lead for Dow, but Midland doing exactly what you said they had to do. They had no choice but to play perfect volleyball and Jensen doing just that as Dow hasn't even touched the ball. There's another hard serve. And McCaffrey sends that out of bounds. Another point for Midland and it's 24-20. We said it'd be a game of runs, but uh, this could be quite the run if Midland can, in fact, yeah. come all the way back from 24-16. There's Stone with a strong hit that's dug up nicely. And back comes Midland High. Now Dow with it. Set by Jude over and Midland High with it. 
Stone winds up and it's dug up by Midland High. A long point here as it's still set point for Dow. McCaffrey's with the kill that goes out and the charge, it's blocked out of bounds rather. The Chargers get the point and take the first game by a score of 25 to 20. So the Chargers inch closer to that match victory. Reminder, it is best three out of five and the Chargers come away with the first game, 25 to 20. Earlier tonight, the, uh, both the freshman teams and JV teams played tonight. Midland High winning both of those matches. Midland hoping to bounce back here uh, to get that sweep, but they got a long way to go. Now playing tremendous volleyball here thus far as, uh, as they strive to, to win that SVL North Championship. Fun atmosphere here in the gym, Jake, where first you got the Dow High students uh, doing their chants, and now it's over to the Midland High yes, I, answering. I, I venture to say the equally important match for tonight is the Battle of the Student Sections. <laughs> it's and entertaining, too. No doubt about it. I can't quite understand the chant, <laughs> but it, the student section is all together, and they know what they're saying. Exactly. And now Dow responds with the simple, <laughs> we can't hear you. Perhaps we can't understand you would be <laughs> more a, appropriate. Yes, better description because we can hear the noise, we just can't make out the words. But regardless, it's almost time to get back to the much more meaningful battle <laughs> on the court. That's right. However, so. as a long time Dow High student in that student section, I recall the importance of the Battle of the Student section. <laughs> That's true. Leaving many matches with uh, no voice or a very raspy voice at that. Oh, it's a lot of fun. It's part of what it, the atmosphere, cross-town rivalry is all about. And, and you can see the Dow High back on the court already looking forward to uh, game two or Midlands uh, uh, talking things over a little bit longer. Okay. Trying to make a few adjustments here. We saw that in the, one of the timeouts as well. Dow was first onto the court by a long shot, yeah. ready to get going. But uh, reminder, this game being made possible in part with the donation from the Saginaw Road Subway. We appreciate that too. That we do. Gonna hit the spot. My we belly appreciates that. <laughs> yes. Well, Dow won the first game, so the two teams have switched sides. And Midland High will start serving with Michelle Plaver. And we're underway in the second game, and Midland High gets on the board first, as that serve was mishandled by Alyssa Stone on Dow, one of the few mistakes. It might be the only mistake she's made so far tonight. <laughs> she had a big first game for the Chargers. And now a low line drive serve, and Plava did a good job of switching it up. Her first serve was significantly slower with more arc to it, whereas that serve was a fastball. Almost like a pitcher changing it up. Yeah. Right there. This one again giving Stone some trouble, but Dow able to control it enough to send it over the net. And now Sherman oh. with a big time kill. And folks watching at home, I'm sure you heard that one and probably felt it. Bam. As Sherman wound up and put every ounce of pizzazz into that one. It's 3-0 Midland High and exactly how they needed to start this game. Another point for Midland High. As Jenna Query had her spike attempt blocked at the net by couldn't, again, a host like reader. of chemics. Yeah, yeah, a reader up there. Regardless, they got the job done, and it's 4 nothing Midland High. Stone comes back for the Chargers, dug up nicely by Jensen. Back to Sherman for the chemics, another point. It's 5 nothing Midland High. So Claver getting it done. We talked about uh, where Coach Zero had said serving is going to be a big part of this game, and... Uh, She's off to a hot start here in game two. And Zero said the right things between games so far. Back comes Query for Dow. It's controlled by Midland High. Reader goes over the net, but right there is Stone. Somehow Midland High keeps it alive, and Jensen sends it over. Now back comes Sherman with the big kill for Midland High. 
What a point by Midland High as both Jensen and Sherman made big time plays. And it's six nothing to start this game for Midland High and Dow quickly takes a timeout. We talked about adjustments and uh, the big adjustment was getting Reeder on the line there. It looks like it's added some life. I was mentioning the serving. Uh, if you look at the statistics for Midland, they have nine players with at least uh, 20 aces on the season. So obviously it's uh, an area that Coach Zero works on heavily and it's, uh, it's paying off right now. Absolutely, and the Chargers again quickly back out there. And the Chemex still in the huddle. A reminder, MCTV is available on Charter channels 188 to 191 and on AT&T U-verse channel 99. You can also find MCTV's schedule online at www.cityofmidlandmi.gov slash MCTV. It's time to go back to the action now as Midland High has the 6-0 lead here in game two. Sherman with a big kill, too hot to handle. Another point for Midland High, it's 7-0. And you know, Dave, Midland started to build a little bit of momentum at the end That's of that true. first game. Dow had the 24-16 lead but they, Midland High went on a little bit of a run to make it a lot closer. Dow still came away with the win, but it appears it was enough momentum to kind of spark the Chemex yeah, as that, Dow that, finally gets on the board. That's a great point, Jake. You're, you're absolutely right, and it, it's carried over to this one. Query and Stone uh, uh, setting down that momentum, at least for the time being, with that block at the net. Another point for Midland. Now there appears there needs to be some discussion with this point as Dow thought that ball was tipped by Midland High before it went out off of Dow, but referee and judges say Midland High point. Dow with it, it's Cooch with the kill for the Chargers and it's an 8-2 ball game. Back into the game for the Chargers to serve the junior, Brianna Talt. Whoa. Boy, another kill for Sherman. And when Sherman gets the set where she wants it and has time to really jump into it, it's uh, it's lights out. No doubt about it. You're not going to be digging too many of those up. 9-2, Midland High. Ellie Jensen to serve for Midland High. And Cooch has her kill attempt blocked by the front line of Midland High. And Midland's net play has been much more, much improved since the first game. A big reason why they lead 10-2. Mason Money and Sherman with a block on that one. And Cooch goes down the line for a big point for Dow. And as we stated with Sherman for Midland High, when she gets everything into it, you're not going to no. catch too many of those. And the same could definitely be said about Madison Cooch for the Chargers. 10-3 Midland High lead, Dow serving. An ace for Dow as Sophia Lobo wasn't the hardest hit serve we've seen all night, but it was well, well placed. Again, uh, Sherman unloads. Cooch tried to block that, but just couldn't uh, get enough of it to send it back. 11-4, Midland High. Sherman will serve for the Chemex. That was set up nicely as Cooch had a chance to kill it, but again, the front line of the Chemex stands strong with the block. 
resulting in the Midland High point. Taylor Jensen, strong at the net for your Midland High. And there is a quick return by Dow. I'm not sure if they planned it to be that quick, but nonetheless, Jude gets the job done for the Chargers. A point for Dow. Ball goes back to them, and it's Madison Cooch to serve. Reader with the set to Jensen, picked up by Dow. Money set to Jensen, now the Chargers with it. Jude sets up Stone, but dug up there by Midland High. Jensen hits it up, but it's blocked at the front line by Helena Atten for the Chargers, making it a 12-6 ball game. Cooch continues to serve for the Chargers. That one got a piece of the net, still finds its way over, and that threw off the timing as a diving Souls from Midland High was unable to control that one, a point for the Chargers. Cooch again with the strong serve resulting in a point for Dow, and Dow has cut the lead to four, it's 12-8. That one's mishandled by the Chemex and another point for the Chargers. And now Midland High will take a timeout. All of a sudden, Midland High's hot start has been responded to nicely by the Chargers and it's a three point game, 12 to nine. It's a good timeout because yeah, like you said, Jake, that hot start and uh, Dow just kind of has uh, been chipping away at that and got, has got it to within three as uh, Coach Amy Yule speaks to her team and Coach Zero talking to his uh, troops to boost their confidence and uh, get them ready for uh, the next play. Cooch uh, looking very strong at the service line. And that uh, student section for the chemics. If you're just joining us, the Chargers won the first game, 25 to 20. And first place in the Saginaw Valley North League is up for grabs as both teams enter the game 6 and 0 in conference play. Madison Cooch continues to serve for the Chargers. She's done a nice job of getting her team back in the game and she picks up right where she left off after the timeout. Now a two point game, Midland High scored the first eight points of this game, I believe. I believe it was yeah. eight to zero. Midland's uh, back line's having trouble handling the serve of Cooch. And now it is 12-10, now 12-11, as just, as you mentioned, right on cue, the back line of Midland High unable to get anything going for Midland. Thanks largely in part to the strong serving ability of Dow High's Madison Cooch, the senior. And again, we see more of the same. It's getting to a point where it's difficult to say what's happening because it's the same thing, without yeah. being repetitive, that is. No, you just gotta give credit to Cooch. She has got her Chargers all the way back as it's tied at 12. And a chance for more as Alyssa Stone from Dow High sends a strong kill just inside the out of bounds line. 13 to 12, Dow has come all the way back to take the lead. Or rather, that one's gonna go to Midland High. They, yep. must, they called that out. That, my mistake, correction, point for Midland High so Dow has still not led in this game. It's 13 to 12 Midland High. Service there gives it right back. 13 all. Dow looking for their first lead of the game. Let's see if senior Jude can pick up right where Kutch left off. Jensen with the kill attempt for Midland High, blocked by the Dow High front line. Sent back over to the Chargers. 
And there's Atten at the net with the strong finish. 14-13, Dow's first lead of the game. Yeah, she left no doubt on that one. It was set up nicely and Atten pounded it home. With the height of Dow's frontline players, when they get the ball in that position, it's gonna be tough to stop more often than not. Reeder tries the quick over the net shot that she was successful with earlier, but not this time. And the Chargers come back and get the point. They lead 15 to 13 now. Atten once again, seems like we kind of rotate the frontliners who we're talking about between Cooch, Atten and Stone. Midland with a much needed point to make it 15-14. And Dave, these games are often so close for the majority of the game, but it's who plays the better volleyball down the stretch. Yeah, absolutely, Jake. I hate to point out the obvious, but that's <laughs> what it that's what it comes down to. Jude with the set. That's Stone at the net for the Chargers. She has it blocked. There, I believe that was Haley Sisitki in for the Chemex. A nice play at the net to knot this game up at 15. And a great job by Sisitki, the junior, with the Chemex point. Strong serve by Jensen and sent right back by Dow. Now Midland with a chance. Back to the Chargers. Jude setting up Stone. Dug up by Warner. Now back come the Chemex. Jude picks it up for Lobo, who has it blocked, or it might not have been high enough regardless. And Midland has the 16-15 lead. I think that might have gone into the net there. Regardless, Midland was, in fact, in position. But at the end of the day, it's who gets the point, and it went to Midland. Jensen with the strong serve. Picked up by Dow. It's Helena Atten with a big kill. That one went off the ceiling, it looked like, but Midland able to maintain control. Now the Chargers with it. Jude sets up Stone for the strong kill, dug up by the Chemex, but not quite able to control it. And it's a point for Dow. Great effort by Warner there, but uh, it's unable to really control it to keep that in play. All tied up at 16. Helena Atten serves for Dow. Jude bumps it to Stone, who sends it across court for the point. A diving attempt by Michelle Plaver, but unable to send it high enough for Midland to get any sort of offense going. Atten serving for Dow. Jude set to stone, cross court. And that results in a point. For the Chargers, it's 18-16 Dow. And it's best three out of five. The Chargers won the first game 25 to 20. They lead 18-16 here. Getting to the point in the game where every point is crucial and this one goes to Dow. So is it about this Point last year, it was I think it was 1916, where it's that danger point for Midland, just can't let Dow extend this lead. Atten continuing to serve for the Chargers. Double hit, called out against the Chemex, and that'll make it 2016. Uh, at this point in the game, it's tough to make, overcome mistakes like that. And it's a 2016 lead for the Dow High Chargers. Yeah, Midland just uh, had that great start to the second game. And then uh, Dow, like we said, has just really played great volleyball to uh, not only get back to even it up, but 2016 here. Inching ever so close to taking that two nothing lead. Yeah, when Madison Cooch took over serving for the Chargers is when things really started to turn around. We mentioned Midland scored the first eight 
points of the game. And all of a sudden it was tied at 10 when Madison Cooch took over serving. Now the score, 2016, Dow with the lead and the serve. It's Helena Atten serving for the Chargers. Back onto the floor comes the Chemex. Neither student section showing any sign of quieting down. <laughs> they don't. <laughs> which is always a good thing. <laughs> you gotta love the electric atmosphere between the two rivals. Dow with it, Jude sets up Stone. And that is another point for the Chargers. Jude to Stone has been a lethal combination for the Chargers in this second game. They lead 21-16. Atten sends that one long. A service error gives the ball back to Midland High. And now these points will be crucial, Dave. Oh yeah. Yep, the margin of error gets uh, slimmer and slimmer for Midland. 21-17, although we saw Midland High put together some of their best volleyball trailing 24-20 last game. Kleber had uh, started this game serving with that big run, but uh, unable to, uh, to match that. As Dow takes the point. Coming in to serve for the Chargers will be Morgan Zeller. Chance to ride it home for the Chargers to take a commanding two games to none lead. There's Cooch sends it a bit far, and that's out of bounds. The Chemex catch a break as Cooch had it all lined up. She just sent it a bit too far over that back line, and it's a point for Midland High, 22-18. Reader serving for the Chemex. Jude sets up query, but it's dug up nicely by Midland High. Back comes Sherman, but she sends it out of bounds. And as Midland caught a break on that last point, Dow catches a break as Sherman sends it over the line. 23-18, Dow. Now Brianna Talt with a chance to ride it home for the Kemet, or the Chargers rather. Sherman, it's when you need her. Dials it up. Point, Point. and serve back to Midland High. Today setting up Cooch. Now that makes it set point. It's 24 to 19. Now if Midland can put together the run they had to start this game, they'll be in good shape. That's right. Scoring eight straight against Dow is no small task, and to do it twice would be quite the accomplishment. Twice in one game, that is. And there's the block by Atten to finish off the Chemex in this second game. The Chargers take it by a score of 25 to 19, and they take a stranglehold on this match. Now two games to nothing in favor of the Dow High Chargers. We well, really got to be impressed with Dow in that game, Jake, where you know just nothing went right to start things off, and. Uh, but they didn't get flustered, they didn't get uh, rattled. They just said, uh, hey, we're just gonna take this one point at a time and inch our way back. And sure enough, they did and end up getting the victory. That's right, the cliche saying is it's not how you start, it's how you finish. And the Chargers exemplified that to a T. <laughs> Both teams huddling up as we get close to uh, starting game three of this set. The coverage of this game is being produced by MCTV volunteers and staff. If you'd like to work on shows like this one, come to the orientation studio training class on the second Saturday of most months from 10 a.m. to 1 p.m. The next session will be held on November 8th Learn all about MCTV and how to become a TV producer and get great hands-on training to become a volunteer. 
The cost, just $45, which covers training and your access user fee for one year. And if Dow can continue the strong play, we may be in and out in three games, Dave. Yep, but uh, Midland's not going to quit here. That's right. They're uh, not undefeated in the league. And they won 36, their record 36 and 10 for nothing. So um, you can look for a uh, uh, strong fight here in this game. You can see there's a, one of the Midland High students giving a giving a pep talk to the student section, got them riled up. Yeah, he sure did. Perhaps he should walk <laughs> across the floor and talk to the Midland High team as the, if the team could be as pumped up as the student section was. Who knows what could happen? But um, yeah, these teams are about identical on paper, so I expect nothing else but Midland to show that as Dow has won the first two games of this match. And it's not like Midland's been far off. They showed oh, no. a lot of life, especially in that second game, going eight, scoring the first eight points. So we're about to get underway. And just in time, as both student sections are now <laughs> switching from the friendly yeah. yelling back and forth to the kind of hostile <laughs> smack talking almost as Dow's student section not so politely told Midlands to sit back down. <laughs> We're underway though, it's one nothing Midland High as Dow serves it into the net, a service error to start this third game. one nothing Dow High, or Midland High rather. Readers serve sales just a little bit long. Back to back service errors and you know, maybe maybe they did get a little, both teams got a little too amped up to start this third game yep. as we're seeing back-to-back -back service errors to start. Tall serving for Dow, but Midland comes up with the point to take the 2-1 lead. Mariah Sherman making her presence felt once again. Haley Souls back to serve for the Chemex, the, the junior defensive specialist. That one uh, off the antenna uh, on Kucha's kill attempt, Point Midland. 3-1 Midland high. Souls continues to serve for Midland. Back comes Cooch with a strong kill, but we've got a whistle. Midland in the net. That was a great set by uh, Jude. Across the court, set up Cooch perfectly. Yeah, Jude's work sometimes goes unnoticed as she sets her teammates up, but she's done a tremendous job all game. Midland somehow, somehow keeps that one alive. Back comes Dow, it's Cooch with a strong kill. Point goes to the Chargers. Yeah, you mentioned Jude, it's been fun watching her because you can tell she's got savvy and can pick her spots when she tries to kill or dink it over. And uh, we talk about these big front liners pounding the ball away, but uh, Jude is just setting them up perfectly. There's a perfectly placed serve by Sophia Lobo, who may have thought she sent it a bit too far <laughs> and nearly did as that one just skimmed the back line for the ace for Dow. 4-3 Chargers. Atten at the net, sends it over, but Midland High controls. It's Jensen with the strong kill and point for the Chemex. So after eight points in this one, we're all tied up, four to four. Last game, of course, Midland jumped out to the eight nothing lead. Not the case here. It's Atten with the strong kill for the Chargers. And that makes it five to four Dow. All right, remember last game, Cooch got on a roll serving. 
See if Midland can handle it a little better this time. Into the net. So, made a jinxer there. This game doesn't seem to be as sharp by either team in the early going. Perhaps both kind of realizing what's on the line. They need to both focus back on the fundamentals and play the way they're capable of playing, which is no small task. And right on cue, it's a service error for Midland High. Point goes to Dow at six to five. Yeah, so far the serving has been, been great for both teams, but a uh, bit of a struggle here in game three. Hatton puts that one away. Down on top, 7-5. So, Kylie Jude serving for the Chargers. Showing how versatile she really is as the setter for the Chargers. That one's off the wiring of the basketball. Oof, and that's not something you practice, the old uh, <laughs> play it off the wiring of the basketball hoop. So understandably yeah, really. so, the Chargers unable to come up with that one. A point for Midland High, seven to six, and Taylor Jensen will serve for the Chemex. There's a strong kill for Atten, who has continued right where she left off in this game last year. She, we mentioned she had a huge game last year, and she's picked it up. Again, this game, both serving and at the front of the net, playing very well in both areas. She was the server that helped the Chargers pull away in the second game. I think Dow was in the net there. So Midland High catches a break. Make it 8-7. Dave, I don't know if it's the heat and the electricity of this rivalry and the magnitude of this game, or if it is in fact about 90 degrees in this gym, <laughs> but it is a warm one. Hopefully not affecting the players as much as it's affecting us. 8-7 <laughs> Dow with the lead. A chance for Sherman, but it's dug up by the Chargers. Back comes Stone and we've got a whistle. A point will go to Midland High. See what happened there. I don't know if that was in the net or not entirely you know sure of the call, but Dave, you and I are both bottom line guys, and the bottom line is Midland gets the point. And we're tied up. Absolutely. Eight to eight. Query with a strong kill, too or strong spike attempt, too strong. Going well over the back line. A point for Midland. Sherman once again. She's had a big match tonight for the No Chemex. doubt. And if you were listening to this game on the radio, you would guess that was Sherman just by the <laughs> boom of the ball. <laughs> that four hits for Sherman's Attack went into the net. So four hits for uh, Midland. Now uh, cuts the gap, 10-9. Another service there. Zoller that time for Dow. Dave, this game just to me, and maybe I uh, am overstating it, but it seems a bit out of sync from both teams and it's resulted in a close score. There's more examples of neither team really being in sync as Cooch, who's been strong all day, sends one into the net. Yeah, it was a tough set for yeah, her to handle. No doubt. Another point for Midland High. Erica Reeder, 
She is the team leader and ace is coming in, 78. And adds to that total right there as Midland goes up 13-9. So like we said, Jake, no quit in these Chemex. That's right, exactly what we expected. And they might not be playing their best game, but it's a gritty bunch there. Uh, but really, both teams, uh, you don't get to be 6-0 and competing for a Valley Championship without uh, yep. you know, winning the games where you're not exactly at your best. That's so key in just about any sport. However, also key in any sport is executing at your highest potential, and neither team really doing so here in this third game. Dow, of course, with the 2-0 lead. They trail in this game 13-9. But same as them, they're, they won a lot of matches. So uh, they will come out swinging here, I'm sure. Top play, Mason Money. Kind of got the free ball. She saw the opening in the back corner and put it down. What a well placed shot. Well timed as well. 14 9 Midland High with Reader serving. Chargers trying to get back into it, go right back to one of their main players, Madison Cooch with the kill, making it 15 to 10. Chargers trailing by five with the ball serving as Brianna Talt for Dow. Jude setting up Kutch, a diving dig attempt from Jensen, then Reeder with a diving attempt. Great hustle by the Chemex, but to no avail, it's a point for the Dow High Chargers. Well, volleyball, if you need something to happen, feed the beast. That's right. <laughs> and Madison Cooch is the beast. In a good way, of course. Yes, in a good way. <laughs> Ellie Jensen there, uh, just placing that one off the block. Get the point for the Chemex. 16 to 11, now the Chargers were the first to 19 in both of the first two matches. Let's see if the Chemex can get to that spot to put themselves in a good position. They lead 16 to 11. And we have a, a lift. violation lift on Midland High. And the mistakes you can't make when you're playing as good of a team as Dow. Can't give them any reason to stick around when, you, when you're on top as Midland High is right now. 16-12, Dow trails Midland. Sherman with a big attempt that's blocked at the net. One of the few times Dow has been able to block Sherman's kill and that results in a point for the Chargers, 16-13. Another strong play at the net for the Chargers. Making it 16-14. Dow clawing their way back in it. Lobo serves for the Chargers. It's an ace. Mm. And now the lead, Midland High's lead has shrunk to one point, 16-15. Jensen receives the serve for the Chemex. Back to the Chargers, and it's Atten with a strong kill. Point for the Dow Chargers. Atten, a beast as well at the That's net. Right. The Chargers In a good way. so deep at that front line position and multiple front line hitters that can be lethal in so many ways. Stone has contributed to this game. Atten has been 
dominant at times. And of course, Madison Cooch is a huge reason why the Chargers are up 2 nothing and why they've climbed back into this final game and tied it at 16. Yeah, again, a timeout by Coach Zero. It's, he had to call it there. Probably was tempted even a little bit earlier, but uh, at 16, uh, you want to try to stem the tide and get things back in your favor. Again, after the timeout, Dow quickly out to the court. And they're ready to roll. That's right, they're ready to stay on the gas pedal here. They've started a very successful comeback and have tied it up at 16. They're ready to finish the job. They, they smell that Valley title, needing just nine points to be Valley North champions and finish at 7-0. 16-16. A big response by the Chemics who get the point and now lead 17-16. Taylor Jensen, that time putting it away. Sissiki back in for the Chemics in the front line. Jensen again, out of that timeout with two huge plays was Taylor Jensen, the senior. Yeah, misplay that time by Dow, set Jensen up perfectly in the center of the court, and she elevated and sent that ball down with no doubt about it, point for Midland High. 18-16 lead for the Chemex. Back comes Atten, who gets a little bit of a break off the net, it bounces to where no Chemex was standing, and a point for the Dow High Chargers. Cooch on the service line. She's been very effective there tonight. She's got that line drive that just uh, sizzles across the net. It's tough to handle. 18-18, right where the Chargers want to be with Cooch at the service line and another ace for Madison Cooch. Now 19-18 Dow, getting closer and closer to that Valley title. Mackenzie Rajewski, the sophomore, checks in. And then with the violation, Again, for the third straight game, Dow's the first team to 20, needing just five more points. 20 to 18, and we'll take a timeout. Kamek's with the timeout again here. You can tell when you look at the, the Dow High huddle, they have that uh, look of anticipation on their face, like we are close. First year head coach, Amy Yule, very young head coach, trying to win a Valley title in her rookie campaign. Coach Zero, who's got a lot of success, a ton of wins and championships under his belt. So doing what he can to try to make some adjustments here and keep the Chemics in the game. And this, of course, the first step in for the Midland Chemics to mount a very difficult comeback as they are in a big hole, not only in this game, but in the match in general. It's 2 nothing. Dow with the lead. Cooch serving for the Chargers. Midland controls it. Jensen's spike attempt is blocked at the front line, and it's another point for the Dow High Chargers, 21-18. Helena Atten with the block. What a nice dig that time by Lobo for the Chargers. Keeping it alive. Now Midland trying to keep it alive. And they do so. That was a great hustle play by Mason Money. Absolutely. I was just about to say Money, it may not have been the most clinical work in how you exactly teach it, but it was effective in getting the job done and preserving the point for the Midland Chemics, who trail 21-19 in this third game. 
They trail 2-0 in the match. Jude sets up Atten, who sends it where Midland was not standing. And again, not the hardest hit, but placed perfectly at that back line. Point I think, for the Chargers. I think Midland was expecting that pass to go across court to uh, Stone, but then the short middle setup, point down. 22-19. Back come the Chemists with the point of their own. They've got the never say never attitude right now. Taylor Jensen has come up with some huge points for Midland. Absolutely, definitely showing her senior leadership. a point for the Dow Chargers, 23-20. Two more points separate the Dow Chargers and a undefeated record in the Valley and the Valley North Championship. That one sent into the net by Warner of Midland High and it's another point for Dow. They lead 24-20, it's match point, Dave. Match point, championship point for Dow High with Helena Atten on the service line. Warner picks it up to Reeder to Jensen. Dug up by Jude for the Chargers. Now the kill by McCaffrey is responded to by Midland High. Kept alive by Dow. McCaffrey sends it to the corner and puts it down for the win. What a shot by Keely McCaffrey in the corner to finish off the Midland Chemex and Dow High with the victory. The final game 25 to 20. That's a three nothing sweep. The Chargers come away victorious and now move to seven and zero in the Valley with the loss. Midland falls to six and one and the Chargers will be crowned Valley champions as the student section rushes the floor. A nice victory at home here in front of the fans for the Dow High Chargers. And you can't say enough about how well they played all around, Dave. No, you, Dow High played a great match. There's all their, Midland has nothing to hold their heads down about. They gave a valiant effort, but that front line of Dow, great setting by Jude. And uh, Dow just was a, a, just too much. And uh, so they'll go on to win the Second Valley North Championship outright after they, after they had uh, tied for it last year with Bay City Western. So congratulations to head coach Amy Yule and all the Dow High Charger team for bringing home the championship. Definitely well said, and to wrap things up with the win, the Chargers are now 38-9-1, and, and we mentioned 7-0 in the Valley, Valley champions with the loss, the Midland High Chemics fall to 36-11. and And for my partner, Dave Marsh, I'm Jake Rietma, thanking you for watching this presentation of MCTV. The Dow High Chargers come away with the victory over the Midland High Chemex. Thank you for joining us and have a wonderful evening. And just a reminder, if you are interested in watching these games, you can on October 29th and 30th on Charter Channel 189 at 8 p.m. Also again on Saturday and Sunday, November 1st and 2nd, at 4.30 p.m. on Charter Channel 190. For more dates and times, be sure to check the Midland Public Schools website at www.midlandps.org. Again, Jake Rietma for Dave Marsh. We thank you for watching this presentation of MCTV. Have a wonderful evening.